Okay, this uh, is on Iron Man specifications, particularly about the suit. What you would need to be able to do this, uh, the technology, I don't, you guys don't have it yet, but the future, we do. So this is Iron Man specs, and it has to do with the suit, what it's made out of. I guess I'm going to start at the bottom, actually, of this list. The suit itself, in order to generate the power and have enough power to do what you need the, power, the suit to do, you need to have some kind of capacitant component to the suit itself. Within the armor, inside portion of the armor, would be a layer of capacitant. It's actually made out of uh, the armor, whatever it's made out of. You have to incorporate into that a capacitant component so that the body of the vehicle, the inside portion of it, is uh, also made up of this basically power storage so the body itself can actually store power <coughs> active fuel generation uh, that would be like the thrusters on the bottom of the feet and in the hands the stabilization thrusters or whatever you call them uh, stabilizing I forget what to call it propulsors or something like that whatever you mentioned of it what you have to do there is today we have a technology uh, to do this it, it, the basics of it exist uh, in the health area, in uh, the health field, medical field, whatever, they have oxygen condensers. Active fuel generation, when you're in an atmosphere that contains O2, would serve to uh, capture and condense that O2 and then use it as fuel in the bottom of the feet and the hands, for just like what you saw them used for, for propulsion in the Iron Man outfit. Now, there's no way you're going to get enough power uh, from photovoltaics, but it works off of the same premise for radiovoltaic structure. Also incorporated inside layers uh, in which are sandwiched between that a monatomic nuclear power net. The radiovoltaics serve the same function as the photovoltaics uh, but for nuclear power. So radiovoltaic structures are to nuclear power what photovoltaic structures are to solar power. So photovoltaics capture solar, radia solar radiation. Radiovoltaics capture nuclear radiation, hence radiovoltaic. Now, <laughs> where is this radiation going to come from? You need inside the suit <laughs> sandwiched between two layers of the radiovoltaic structure, uh, the nuclear power net, monatomic nuclear power net, just basically one atom at a time placed uniformly throughout the inside of the suit and sandwiched between the radiovoltaic layers that produces the nuclear radiation necessary to have enough power to form the fuel, or to capture the fuel, or to create the fuel actively while you're in the suit using the power that it generates. Okay, so this power to use to work the Iron Man suit from this monatomic nuclear power net sandwiched between two radiovoltaic structures layers and used for not only powering the suit for movement, but also for active fuel generation and for storing in the body of the suit itself some percentage of energy for use as needed or as backup or whatever when you're not using the power. And the monatomic nuclear power net here, that, that's constant. That's constant. Not like solar, which you have to wait for the sun to come up. These atomic particles that are strewn throughout the inner part of the suit between the radiovoltaic uh, structure layers, uh, those go 24 hours a day. That's 24-7. They're powering, they can power the suit, plus they can uh, recharge the emergency or active power system if you needed extra energy for high activity uh, maneuvers or use of the suit or whatever. So that is the Iron Man specs. Just part of this is just touching the surface of what you would need for an Iron Man suit to work. You cannot just have all your fuel located in within the suit. There just wouldn't be enough uh, 
there just wouldn't be enough room to store all this fuel that you would need. So you need something like this. You need it to be nuclear, to have enough power to do what the suit needs to do. And you need to have active fuel generation for those thrusters, for those propulsors, or whatever he called them in the, in the movie. And again, a little capacitant component throughout the, the vehicle itself, the body actually contains a component within the metals that is provides a portion of the power. Probably most likely that would be used uh, and come from the monotop nuclear power net to move the suit around, as in arm movements, leg movements, uh, you know, fighting, things like that. Okay? So that's it, Iron Man Specs.